My name is Carl Robinson. I'm from Neptune, New Jersey. What I like about fighters so much is one of the purest things out there. It's one man against another. The person who comes out is the person who prepared the most and wants it more. I fought in glory, and glory took me to the next level. Now I'm here to show the world what I'm capable of, and I can get that knockout. Don't worry, I'll be up there soon. Some guys, you can tell they, they took an ass with That one, definitely got an ass. We're a little bit dry out here. Nice though, calm. Like it. Jersey's such a rush. Everybody's nice to sell out there too. I went to a convenience store and the lady was like, hey, how you doing? Thank you very much. New Jersey, they're like, I hate my life. Get out of my store. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Travis. What's up, brother? Nice to meet you, man. What's up, man? How you doing? Travis. Ray Combat, Jersey. I've seen you a bunch of times. So, yeah, so you're yeah, like, yeah. you don't remember me, do you? You're like, <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, really, that's yeah, I already nah. learned that lesson, so I'm <laughs> like, you shared the last one with Ray Combat. Sick facility, baby. Can't wait to do some real work out here, boy. Got everything you need. And it's nice out, got the doors open. Got that atmosphere about it. Ready to punch somebody in the mouth. Whenever someone fights Carl and he hits them, they've never been hit that hard before in their entire life. And they have that like, what the hell just hit me moment. And that's what we capitalize on. And that's why Carl finishes fights and he finishes them early. I don't see this going long. Oh, God, enjoy the point of not why I do it, right? Live life with a smile on your face. Work hard and knock people the fuck out. That's how we do it. Welcome to Las Vegas, episode three of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Our featured bout, Ryan Spann and kickboxing standout Carl Robertson. Robertson, this guy is one of the toughest guys. He can do everything. He can fight on his feet, he can fight on the rack. This is the featured fight tonight. Carl, baby K, Robertson coming in with a perfect record, not only as a pro, but as an amateur as well. And this is Ryan Superman Spann. Eight wins by submission, five by guillotine. First round, fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight! Ryan Superman Span, Carl Baby K. Robertson. Didn't take long for this, uh, this fight to pick up pace, huh? Don't worry, you're good, you're good. Oh, those elbows are rough. Oh, wow, he's hurt, and that is it! Goodness. Wow, Carl oh, Robertson. That's power, short elbow power. He did a great job in defending that takedown, getting to that underhook, picking him up, and he hit that up elbow off of that tie-up. That was beautiful. Winner by knockout. Carl. Oh. Good, stand up, good job. So let me know where you want to go. I fought 85. 85? Yeah, I fought 85. How many times? Uh, three times. Make the weight easy? Yeah. yeah. All right. so just one of the grats, man. Let's go, baby. All right. He had you up against the fence, and you landed some beautiful short elbows. Is that a signature of yours? Yeah, I love elbows. We train elbows, spinning kicks, anything. We gotta be dangerous everywhere, and that's what we train. Hard work pays off. You had a little conversation uh, with the man himself, Dana Wade, on the way out. What were you guys talking about? Uh, talking about change of weight classes. I said wherever he needs me, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm ready to fight any time. Well, congratulations on a heck of a performance. Tonight we're gonna take Jeff Neal and uh, Carl Robertson. Ooh, dreams come true, hard work pays off. Best thing I could say. Let's go, baby. I deal with it every day. Let's go, baby. Excuse me, bro. Thank you, brother. I'm good, how you doing? What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Gas tonight. Thanks. What's new back? Right. Rolling down the street. You got an ass, you can. Oh, you you know better now. His nickname is Golden Elbow. Snoop is the man. It's only, that's the man. Yeah, I'm from uh, Neptune, New Jersey. I guess you make your own choices when you get to a certain age, and I got into gangs and stuff like that, into like the violence in the streets, and uh, almost really got sucked into it. And uh, one time I just walked past his gym. And uh, son just told me to go in there. So I went in there, talked to my coach, Brian. 
At first, I guess we didn't get along because we were from two different worlds. I'm from like the street, he's from more like the business and uh, corporate type of family and everything. So we really, we really didn't see eye to eye. Like my, my attitude, I was young and dumb. So my attitude really wasn't, wasn't the attitude he was used to. He thought I was just in there to waste his time and everything. But after like, we got an understanding of who each other were and uh, started seeing eye to eye, it started to work out better. He was a little chubby, had a bad attitude, and I wasn't really sure if he was gonna be a right fit for me. He doesn't come from the, the best neighborhood, had some issues, had to come to terms with that. And I mean, when he woke up and realized that you're not who you were, you are who you are right now, that changed everything for him. That's why he got where he got in such a short amount of time with so few fights. Everyone I know that knows Carl is the same thing. He was a guy that had natural ability that everyone saw, but it took a while for him to recognize it himself. Honestly, I don't think there's anything in his way to get where he wants except him. So as long as he stays on point, he does the work, stays healthy, there's gonna be a lot of people getting dropped. Go get my hair cut by my barber, because he hasn't seen me since my fight, and he's been asking me to see me for a while because he's a huge supporter. See your fight, what? Yeah. <laughs> we watching it. Watching the next great yeah. chat. Yeah. It, it just seemed like it was so, so quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just can't be the fight, like, like afterwards. I was like, your grin is crazy. You said my grin is yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Had the green shirt on. Yeah, that's because I was souped. Like, yeah. Couldn't stop smiling. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Congratulations. I said definitely, and uh, I got you with the money uh, tomorrow, I guess, because I didn't go to the bank. No, I told you this was on me when you won the fight. Okay, I'm gonna to just do. stop letting you rub shit on my head, keep, boy. Keep what the back of his neck? Bro, that's the only time he can get I'm hurt. Practicing to be cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna call him <laughs> Doughboys and um and farming death. It's a little bit up the way, but it's good food and it'll be free. It's real food. <laughs> Put a fresh shirt no, on. I had, no, I had nothing left. You had nothing left. <laughs> Look at you. you. You don't have nothing that fit right, do you? Why are your nipples hard? It's medium. <laughs> Why your nipples hard, though? Medium. It's hot in here. <laughs> that only happens when you're cold. You guys got to deal with this guy all day? All day. This is a new store. And he needed workers. So I came to help him out. I just come in three times a week, do what he needs, like do extra help out around here, wherever he needs extra. Come here, help clean up, put stuff away. Just little things, deliveries and stuff. I've never been so nervous before in my life. And watching him actually, it was, it was gonna, I was gonna cry because he lost, I was gonna cry because he won. And I, I thank God he won, he did, he did a great job. So, it made all of us happy. Man, it's, it's crazy. Uh, walking out there, it's, it's, it's a different environment. I'm used to the big noise, like, ah, yeah, yeah, the yeah. music and everything. Like it was mad. The lights Quiet and awkward. everything. Yeah. And I can tell by the way he tried to wrestle that he wasn't, he wasn't planning on trying to stand with me at all. He wanted to make this a wrestling match. Like he truly didn't even know he was out. He asked the ref what happened. Why'd you stop it? So at this point, I'm out of it. Like now it's like a daydream. So it's like, I don't know <laughs> what's going on. Like we see, they got to sit on like a desk. It's weird. But it's like everybody's waiting. Everybody like waiting for the dream. So everybody's just standing next to each other. Like I'm not going to get picked. Uh, but tonight we're going to take Jeff Neal and uh, Carl Robertson. That's one of the best feelings in the world. Like, yeah. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. That's the it's best. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's dope. Oh my God. <laughs>